Hello. I sing the tale of the Tour Squad, proud sons of the Fatherland. When first they set out on the shores of Jerusalem, they were in exile. A diasporic nation beaten back by fate to suffer the indignities that befall. Men born of a harsher time. Men were stronger then. There was Tour Explosion, the fiery heart of his company. That man was like a mad bull, rampaging wildly into the fray. There came a time when, driven by fate in all her folly, those boundless agonies they had suffered, Tor Squad leader took himself to his men. Seeing their humble faces, he was overcome with a sense of propriety and profound duty. That God-fearing man made of his company a splendid host. They had trained, and against all odds, cut forth into those immortal lands, knotted and disgraced by years of unwept war. A founding story. For a great nation. And as I stood there looking on the old world and remembering the tale of the Tor Squad, a somber tone tinged my spirit and moistened my brow. Just as the day star sinks haphazardly, unasked by us, into the horizon, so were my brothers, the Tor Squad, lamenting your fate. When you, Tor Squad leader, sunk beneath the earthen domain, when your starry crown sunk into the sea, Weep no more, men of the fatherland, for your woeful shouts would be better spent carrying out the last vision, the last fading light of Tor Squad leader upon the shore. Now, as you may know, the gates of sleep are two, one of ivory and the other of horn. Tor Squad leader, for your sacrifice, having passed beneath the waves, you spake unto your men. Weep not for me, and tarry no longer, my faithful sons. For it is in you that the glory of Jerusalem should be restored, as fate decreed. We were all filled with compassion. March around the hub for seven days, and I will send unto you a savior. Torsolo is his name, wrecker of armies, messenger of fate, enforcer of the gods' justice. That man will make of you a great nation. And so the Tor Squad set out from those shores of Jerusalem for the hub. For seven days, they flagellated themselves, moistening their backs with the dew of their sweat. Night begat day, day begat night. They saw a thousand stars, and at the dawning of the seventh day at the city gates, there arose a great rumbling from the earth. There was first a great earthquake, and then a great wind, and then there was a whisper. A stranger appeared in the city. That masked man, when he appeared at the front of the Tor Squad, spake, Who among you would doubt and need to place his finger into my wounds? For a torso is never late, nor is he early, but he arrives precisely when he means to. He removed his hat, and we were all filled with compassion. At the Dawn Star, it was Torsolo the White, that God-fearing man, coming back to save us. We would unite forces, for I have seen beyond the farthest stars, and my memories are a tapestry of the fates befalling men of all ages. But when this man entered the Tor Squad's journey, their fates changed. Alright, we're back with the Tor Squad. Torsolo's back. Reincarnation of Torsolo. Not Tor Squad Leader at all, has nothing to do with Tor Squad Leader, stop asking. It's not Gandalf either. And it's time to take on the greatest fights. But before all else, we must claim Anduril, the Blade of the Fallen King. And so we pass beyond the moistened plains, a hell of cacti, and into the decrepit wasteland. We cross through the darkest valleys, we fought savage beasts, and overcame and we took refuge in this earth's last stand. We passed into the valley of the shadow of death and feared no evil. No paragon of doubt could dissuade us from this glorious quest. Now at the dawning, like the world around us, our tears fell as drops from the sky. He passed through the desolate wasteland, over high hill and under low mountain, and came to that place, the Ashlands and he passed like a shadow in their midst. There, on the slopes of Ashland Dome 2, he sought that artifact that makes of men kings. Ah, here we are, we've arrived. The blade of the fallen king will be mine. There he is. Okay, uh, all right, all right, boop. Uh, all right, B boop. Why is this, why is this allowed? Why is this allowed? Okay, 
All right, we've beaten Catlong. Ah, uh, that was the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> Unfortunately, I forgot to leave my Nodachi somewhere else. You know, we'll just we'll just kidnap him. We'll just kidnap him and bring him back somewhere else. All right, uh, GG. Man, I cannot wait to see how pissed the thr- The thr- Really, guys? This is your man. I've got him. I've got your man. All right, well, he can see me now. I'm going back. I have- I have him, you guys. Ah, uh, they really don't give a sh- Oh, well. He's mine now. He is- he is mine. <laughs> he is mine. Even when I pass through a whole group of them. And we've made it out of the Ashlands! Alright, uh, back to Torsolo the White. Alright, Torsolo gets his things. Alright, Torsolo the White with a new look. Everybody loves Torsolo's new armor. Let's all compliment Torsolo's new armor down there in the compliment section. Does he, don't you think he looks really smashing? Look, he's like Torso- Remember how Torsolo had samurai armor now? It's a different color. It's like Lord of the Rings. I mean, it's not like Lord of the Rings at all. This is a different story. Different story. And so we walk in the path of Torsolo, fighting people larger than us. Much, much larger than us at an unfair advantage. Behold the power of the Tor Squad. Those who cannot be defeated in mere combat. We have sharpened our bodies with our minds, and we have made of ourselves a great nation. Shining and bright as the rising sun, crashing like a waterfall on our foes. And winning battles most of the time. By a lot, as it turns out. Probably that's enough. Stealing things. A lot of, a lot of things, as it turns out. My god, we've really stolen a lot, just all over the place. We're gonna need more people to carry these stolen goods. We're gonna be rich one of these days. Really rich. We can fight whole herds of beak things. Christ, I can't even believe how strong we've gotten. There's just whole slews of beak thing eggs here. Hang on, I need to trade these. All right, well, with that, it's enough to uh, bring to fruition the work of the anti-slavers to the southeast. I'd say that this is our next task. This was the path of Torsolo, after all. Torsolo, of all people, who was completely good. Don't question it, he was good. Now it's time to return to our birthing place. Yes, our birthing place. Here, the place where we started. Okay, very angry at you people. You kept us here for longer than you were you weren't supposed to keep us here at all still we were in captivity here we have to fight the fight the bad people okay this shouldn't be so bad shouldn't be so bad we've taken out their turrets there are more turrets that turret is floating in midair someone should report that okay tour squad that's okay just spread out some of you certainly will be uh, hurt badly but Overall, I imagine you'll come out stronger than them because you're good. And good always wins, as we know. As it always has. As it always has. Right, this is great. All we gotta do is stay outside, Tor Squad. Just don't ever go inside. You're not very good at fighting indoors. Tor Solo the White, why don't you... Yeah, stay, stay out here. Don't try to... Don't try to be a hero, Tor Solo. I know you're Tor Solo, but it's just... You, you're pretty green right now. Why are you fighting that guy? We're the ones who are breaking everybody out. Smashing job, Tor Squad. Man, no one has fainted. Wow, that is really successful. I mean, one guy has fainted, but, but Torsion was fainted before we got here, so it doesn't count. All right, it looks like the captives are escaping. Um, good, they're free. Now the other ones are escaping actively. We're gonna go help them out because the because uh, the supervisor. Oh God! Now we're fighting the samurai. They're much stronger than everyone else in the camp. This might actually be problematic, but it looks like we're getting a lot of green. They have a lot of armor, but well, so do we. Yeah. Good. We're winning. Smashing tour squad. You've already you've almost taken out everyone we have all these eggs in our inventories good all the captives are now freed and they're escaping causing more havoc in the camp good great let's fight the last of these samurai heavies and then get to the uh the head honcho head honcho coming up in a moment Okay, and howdy ho. All right, there he is. That's the guy, uh, Slave Master Ruben. Is that a guy? Yeah, it's a guy. Just a very beautiful man. Wow, what a beautiful man. All right, um, okay, let's go attack him. Slave Master Ruben is bad man. Very bad man. These people don't tend to be very strong. 
Oh, Torsolo, wish you could have been the one to strike him down, but why don't you just carry the body? He also has a lot of money and hashish. It's an illegal drug. No. Good, we've got him and we're running out. Let's leave this camp. The guy who made our li- made us into torsos, probably. Liberation, rejuvenation, and some sort of Babylonian justice. Great. Nice. Okay, let's get out of here, Tor Squad. We got m far more than we might be able to convert now. We have to escape while the going is still good. Okay, looks great. Let's just go somewhere non-threatening like this other camp. I am like the great grasshopper, leaping, keen, and bright. I run deep into the night, and I chirp in the morning. In my dreams, a messenger came to me and said, If you go into the city tonight, you will meet God. He disappeared into the night. And so the Tor Squad traveled, now reaching their final destination. For they were now to be avenged. Yes, avenged! Wasn't that great? Avengement would be theirs. Uh, here we go. Slave Master Ruben, he's, he's gonna be no more. Bad guy. Alright, Beep, you hang out here. We're all going to Black Desert City to get lit. Um, Alright, bad people no more. Goodbye, Slave Master Ruben. Your injustice ends here. He is dead then. But our crusade knows no end. Go, Tor Stealth, go! Alright, well, he's- he is asleep. We could just take him. Okay, we're <laughs> going to take him for t <laughs> No one even woke- no one even woke up. Well, damn, okay. Alright, just take him and walk away. Good job, Tor Stealth. The freedom of the- okay, now the alarm has been raised. Don't let them get away. Oh, I'm actually unstealthed again. All right, go back into stealth mode, door stealth. S Look at all the guards, just... Ah, uh, jeez. What about the front gate guards? They're just... Yeah, they don't seem to care either. Okay, well, whatever. Very well. Tor stealth, catch up with the rest of the gang. Thinking, uh, thinking we'll give some of these items to Tor stealth, actually, as it, as it happens. He's the guy. This is a very nice katana. You know, Tor Stealth, why don't you take these glasses? They fit you nicely. This shirt is also very nice, I'll take that. That's the last we'll hear from Emperor Tengu. Alright, let's see how we fare at one of the last stone camps out here. Alright, check on another stone camp. Everybody has escaped now. I'm gonna take this guy too. This guy's just got bad posture, he deserves to- Yeah, wait, Master Haga, he looked totally different in another place. He just went right down, did you see that? It looked like he was just faking it. That's crazy. Can't- um, can't believe he would do that. Dishonorable. He's mine too. We got- we have like all of the United Cities people at once. You know, this is kind of crazy. It's like watching a Rochi Maru fight, um... Oh, I don't know. Sasuke or something. Yeah, look at this. His arms aren't doing too well. Oh, God. That's a shame. Oh well. Alright, we're out of here. I think we, uh, good, we freed everyone. The world is a better place because of us. Let's go destroy all of these people. Okay, there goes Emperor Tengu now. He'll be getting up, uh, again shortly. Okay, let's get this man. Really just not a- God, he's not in shape either. He's not even in shape. Look, we could catch him. Never stood a chance. Never stood a chance. Take him down. And so the Empire is defeated, or at least crippled now. We have cut the head off of the snake. The cheese stands alone, and the torso now stands on two legs. Now, all of that having been done, what is there left to do? Well, what still remains on our quest? Torsolo the White went into the pool of acid and saw to the burning of the body. There we go, Emperor Tengu's no more. It's okay, Torsolo, you're gonna be fine. Torsolo the White. Okay, Emperor Tengu, horrible, terrible man. Ruin the lives of many, many people. It's good to be no more. You know, the whole Tor Squad can actually come together to see this. It's not raining anymore. It's safe. I mean, it's a horrible thing, but think of all the suffering that will end. It's John Stuart Mill utilitarianism. I know it's not perfect, but that's okay, you know. Or who can say? But having become somewhat the monsters that they had aspired to defeat, the Tor Squad entered the Pool of Acid in solidarity, and then very quickly got out of the Pool of Acid because it was burning and hot and bad, and then stayed to watch the end because it was kind of cool too. There he lay, dead. All right, United Cities leader is uh, is gone. What is there left for the Tor Squad to do? We've beaten uh, 
you know, the Tor Squad has come a very long way. It's, uh... They've beaten the UC. They've beaten the Holy Nation. They've allied with the, uh, these people. We got this guy. I mean, there is this guy left. I'm... Yeah, you know, let's go for this guy, and then we'll take it from there. Let's just, uh, approach him, though. This is a fairly tough, uh... This is a fairly tough egg to crack, the Bugmaster. He's, uh, he's actually one of the most dreaded and revered of foes. Revered, too, yes, revered. Like Paul Revere. Still so much map left to cover. I feel as though we've done a lot, though. I, 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 I feel as though that the Bugmaster is almost like... It's almost like an otherworldly enemy, what he is. He is, to me... He's, to me, like some guy who lifts a lot of weights at his house. Like, remember Kevin Spacey and, uh... Like, remember the... Like, what happens in American Beauty when he starts lifting all of the weights for... It's like, that's what would have happened if this guy had just stayed in his house and nobody ever came to kill him, or... I can't remember how American Beauty ends right here, but... It's fine, you know, that's what the Bugmaster would have been. You get the idea. I want to save him for his own special video, the Bugmaster. Maybe we'll call it something... Something catchy that people will click on, like, the Bug... Man. Not copyrighted, please don't sue. Alright, that'll be coming next, uh, probably. The Tor Squad returned over high hill and under low mountain, down in the valley to Jerusalem, where they made their home. Poning noobs all the way back home. And when they made back, they were joined by new allies. The valley was once again safe and full of joy, floating rocks and other... Oh my god, Jesus Christ, I've never seen that many... What even is this? What is this? I, I didn't know that this was happening. I don't think I, I don't think I've ever seen this many NPCs in one. Don't even get involved. That's so cool. This game can do that? Oh, look at all the green from the Tor squad. They must have sent a host from the United Cities to kill us because we kidnapped their emperor. Wow, that's amazing. Look at this. Jesus Christ, that's amazing. And so they fought on the shores of Jerusalem for the future of that great nation. Torsolo fell! Torsolo has fallen! Oh my god! His chest has caved in! Oh, Tor's heavy weapons is down as well! Jesus! Uh, I hope we... I hope we win? This game really needs rebalancing! Oh, for God's sake! What is even happening in the river? Somebody from the Anti-Slavers is here, the Sheks have come to join us, it's like the Battle of Five Armies. No, we'll probably have some casualties right when I thought we were safe. I can- I didn't even script this, this is just a complete surprise for me, wow. Go, go, Tors Heavy Weapons, no, don't- Yes, Beep, save Tors Heavy Weapons. Save him. Beep has very high toughness. Uh, save your squad. Uh, make out like Aeneas. Jesus. Oh, no, Torsolo fell under the weight of his own in extremely large pecs. Crap. I still think we might have a, some chance of winning this because the Sheks and the Anti-Slavers are just very cool and badass. Everyone knows that whoever's the coolest usually wins. Tor's Heavy Weapons is also really just pulling his weight here. Torsolo back at it. Oh, Jesus. Uh, but not having... not hacking it. Tor Savage- oh, look at the flying knee kicks. He will severely subdue these enemies. Oh, unfortunately, some Sheks have actually turned over their allegiance to the United Cities. Who knows what the Sheks did to them in this- in their time on this earth. I think everybody's down. Oh, this reminds me of when Thor and Oakenshield died at the Battle of Five Armies. Very sad day. But ultimately a good thing in the long run. I think they might actually beat us. Yeah, it's uh, it's looking like more of them than us. Where are our- oh god, our other just- <laughs> just- Our other squad- go send for aid, other torsos! Um, hang on a second. How am I gonna get my way out of this with you? Is Seto down? Seto is not down, Seto is in fact okay. Uh, how can we get you to survive? Look at what a mess this place is. Well, fortunately, all of the Shek patrols from all around here are coming into our aid, and they just tend to pass through the region every now and then, so... I think we will take a few casualties, but this is, uh, a red day. A red day. This is probably the coolest thing that's ever happened to me in Kenshi. 
you you know what? Why don't you? I just it's too great. You guys just stand there. Just go go ahead. Nobody nobody's too worried. The battle of Jerusalem rages on, and we'll leave it there for today. Special thanks to viewers like you. Thank you. Thanks to my patrons. We are the lifeblood coursing through the veins of the Tor Squad. And I can't thank them enough. Thank you very much. More Kenshi to come soon. It looks like- It looks like more Shek patrols are just lining up by the dozen, so I think we're gonna make it out- of, Maybe we'll make it out of this, we'll see. And stay tuned for the stunning, ultimate climax of the Tor Squad. As always, I'm Ambiguous Amphibian. Goodbye now.